Carl Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. about 30 seconds into the uh, Winnipeg community and I tell you we're really gonna have a lot of fun and uh, we're gonna create a lot of beautiful content for you to watch if you are from Winnipeg and you get to see this video kindly share like and comment show them connect you to the Hey, what's good family? How is everybody doing? My name is Silko Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now, I would like to ask you, have you ever made a trip to Ghana? Or are you planning on making a trip to Ghana? This is you will love to see when you come. And if no, just let me suggest some places for you. A few days ago, uh, here in Central Region, you know, we celebrate our festival from May gone, so May, June, July, August, September. That is where most of the communities or the district in Central Region celebrate their festival. So in May, we started with one of them, and that is what I want to talk to you about. Basically, this YouTube channel wants to tell you that should you make up your mind to come to Africa, Ghana to be specific, or let's say Central Region, where I am from. Ghana, you know, is divided into 16 regions. So my region is the central region of Ghana. So assuming you want to come to Ghana and a central region to be specific, what are some of the things you would love to see? What are some of the things you would love to experience? And that is why I'm coming your way today with a beautiful list that I have made from my previous trip to Winneba. So Winneba it's like a semi-urban community located in the Efutu municipality of the central region of Ghana. So my trip to Winneba was to experience the almighty Abuache festival where, you know, the community members or the Asafo companies in that community are sent into the forest to hunt for a deer. So whoever catches the deer first becomes the winner. But if all of you catches the deer, that is where celebration comes in. So it was so beautiful. And at the end of the day, I went to the community and I found these five places that I think when you're heading to Central Region, you should stop by Winneba and just check them out. So when I say Central Region, coming to Central Region, it means that from Accra, mostly People would love to come to Central Region to come and see the Kakum National Park and the Elmina Castle and the Cape Coast Castles, yes. But on your way, there are the beautiful places, other experiences that you must and definitely go and check them out. So I'm going to give you five experiences you would have to experience on your way to Cape Coast when you get to Winneba. So Winneba has one popular runabout called Winneba Runabout. But now, development has gone in, and now we call that side, that area, that Winneba runabout, Reconciliation Runabout. So Reconciliation Runabout has this beautiful monument of Kwame Nkrumah, and then one of the you know, popular politicians, then times, you know, when they went into politics. Kwame Nkrumah, like you know, is our first president of Ghana. Yeah, so it has beautiful artifacts around it and it is also fenced with water sprouting out and making it so beautiful in the afternoon and in the evening. The lightning system alone is so awesome. So hey, make sure you stop by Winneba Runabout now, Reconciliation or Runabout and then have a look at the place. So now I am standing at the Reconciliation Runabout. Previously this place wasn't like that. So now I can see Kwame Nkrumah standing there with another personality, what I would have to find out and let you know later. So you know Kwame Nkrumah, Ghana's first president, he made sure that we left, you know, the slavery system into our own governance. So hey, I'm going to go into the town and bring you more from Discovery Sanctuary. The next place that I will tell you is that when you get into the community, you're going to meet the University of Education, Winneba. So uh, after I completed teacher training college for three years, I had to go to uh, the university to, you know, top it up with two years degree. And I went to the University of Education, Winneba. Like the name sounds, University of Education. So basically that institution, you know, educated people to become 
good educators, leaders in education when it comes to our educational system here in Ghana. So you may definitely have to go there and check the place out. Moving forward, there's another place that I would love to tell you about, which is the Unity Square. So the Unity Square, Unity. We all have to come together, unite, and pull the string together. This Unity Square has beautiful artifacts around it. It's so beautiful that when you get there, you will learn a lot. And there is someone there who will show you or teach you the history behind the Unity Square. So the Unity Square has three men holding a pole with a flag on it. It means that we have to unite to accomplish a mission together. So let's get into the community and learn more about the Abuacho Festival, which the people of Winneba celebrate. So the Abuacho Festival is celebrated every year where, you know, they go out there to catch a deer. And it's so beautiful that you have to experience it. But heading towards the middle of the community, you would have this beautiful building that is called Osim Pam Heritage Center. And it's a restaurant. On top of it, it's a beautiful monument that is structured and placed there to tell the story of Winneba. And you could see one man with a talisman with the others behind them holding a deer. That tells you that, hey, this is their pure history and they would love to let you know about their history. And when you get inside, you will find portraits of the historic festivals, the chiefs and the leaders that has come and has gone. So hey, it will be an interesting place for you to go check it out, the Osimpa Heritage Center. And whilst you do that, make sure you get served with a beautiful traditional African Winneba meal, which is called Etso. I'll tell you more about Etso Moko and Achenham pretty soon after this video. And the last place that I would love for you to check it out is the Ofrenyi Kweja Monument. We made a video in Mori talking about offering new kweja. So in a nutshell, all the communities along the beaches in Ghana do celebrate this man called offering new kweja. So offering new kweja brought fashion into Ghana. So along the beaches, he is mostly celebrated. And in most of the communities, they've mounted a monument or a structure that represents offering new kweja and what he did. Hey, do you remember in the video that we did in Mori community, we unveiled of Ferengi Kweja as the Ghana's most celebrated fisherman. Interviewing one of the chiefs, he made mention that almost all the towns that are found in the coastal areas are making claims that Ferengi Kweja migrated from Egypt to settle in their community. Now, we are in a future Winneba municipality where they are celebrating the Aquachi Festival. So I said no. Let me visit the location where they have the monument representing Frenu Kweja to show you that, yes, Frenu Kweja was really celebrated here in Ghana. Well, lastly, there's the Fisherman Runabout. So the Fisherman Runabout is in one of the communities that represent fishing as well. I told you the people of Winneba is into an occupation which is fishing. Most of them are into fishing. The women do fish monkey where they go buy the fish. They, you know, uh, smoke them or salt them or send them outside, you know, to make extra money for themselves. Hey, enjoying Winneba, right? You can't come to a fishing community without seeing anything that represents their occupation. In the middle of Winneba, we found this beautiful monument with three strong fishermen pulling a net from the sea. So just around the fisherman corner, you also find a police academy. Basically, they are there to train officers in the police. This uh, station is called Command and Staff Training College, whereby, uh, you know, officers in the Ghana Police Service do go there to learn how to, you know, manage and control affairs and control crowd and do what they have to do. So, hey, thank you very much for checking me out. This was a quick one to bring you what you can do when you get to the central region. Like I said, this year we are projecting central region to the maximum. Thank you for checking us out and peace.